y'all. Good morning. Welcome to I Am The Light. My name is Tasha and I'll be reading for Aquarius. Hey, Aquarius babies. Y'all have shown me so much love. Y'all, come on in here. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are one of the Aquariuses that are returning, welcome back, baby. I honestly say, y'all have shown out, honey. Almost 3,000 some views. 3,000 3, point something views. I, I don't even know what to say. Y'all, I am so appreciative. Y'all just y'all are such sweethearts anyway to me. You really are. You really are. When y'all look, when y'all on the, the nice side, when y'all showing the nice side of Aquarius, y'all are just sweethearts. So come on, y'all. I'm ready. I'm excited to do y'all's reading out of everybody's reading because y'all have shown me so much love. So let me give y'all some of this love back, baby. All right, spirit guys, ancestors, great divine. Let's get it. Let's go. What do y'all got for Aquarius spiritual message? Sun, moon, and Venus rising. What is the spiritual message for Aquarius, sun, moon, and Venus rising? Now, Aquarius, spirit is doing something a little bit different. We only pull on one card and we move right into love. Okay? And I want to get y'all stuff done before I went to work. And then I, Pisces, y'all are the last one and I'll take care of y'all when I get out. All right, spirit, what do you got for Aquarius, what's the most important thing Aquarius needs to know today? Sun, moon, and Venus rising spiritually. What is it that they need to know? Hold your vision. Aquarius, you need to hold your vision with the fixed moon. Hold your vision. Let's see. Let's see. Mm. Where is the... Okay. Let's see what it says, Aquarius. It says, <clears throat> there are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm, okay? In whatever situation you're in. So that's number one. You need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in. The second is very different. Interpretation is that something is stuck. That could well be referring to the situation you're asking about. If that's the case, have a think about what you can do to grease the wheels so that events move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great. Because if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in. <laughs> Be the one to break the deadlock. With two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. Okay? This offers up a chance for some self-reflection. Uh, to attune to this card, yes, just say the word and a lot. Just say the word a lot and see how it feels. Okay, so they're telling you to say yes. Say yes as mu much as you can and see how that feels to you. When you say yes to opportunities, are you saying yes to certain things where you're digging your heels in? Say yes. How does that feel to you? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? If it does, stop digging your heels. But if you say yes and it makes you feel good, it makes you feel alive, Aquarius. If it makes you feel like, yes, I can do this, then baby, that's the yes that you need to move with, okay? Now, staying power, faith, and patience are needed. You need to have staying power, faith, and patience, okay? Someone needs to back down. So it's two different meanings, remember? So some of y'all, you need to back down, and some of y'all need to hold the faith. You need to hold on to patience. You need to hold on to that staying power, okay? You need to avoid stagnation, and personal or professional relationship could be enduring. A personal or professional relationship could be enduring for you at this time. Teaching, okay? In astrology, there are three quadruple lasities quad, I'm going to just say quadruples quad something here okay there's okay I know what they're trying to say there, in astrology there's three different types of signs there's cardinal fixed and mutable the fixed signs are Taurus Leo Scorpio and Aquarius um, the fixed signs can be stubborn so anything that just started out um, so anything that has just started as you draw this card may well last longer remember we each have all the star signs in our chart it's just the way the astrological astrological wheel works so there's no judgment when we say that while it's admirable how much same power the fixed signs are they can also can be obstinate so listen 
Y'all are a fixed sign, baby. So spirit is just saying that sometimes y'all can be really, really, really stubborn and you need to let go of some things. If you want to, this is why that yes card, there are two different pathways. If you are on the stubborn side and it is looking like this is something you need to let go of, Aquarius, let go, baby. But on the other side, being fixed can be a good thing when you are holding the line. That means you are moving towards, like I said, faith. If you move it, you hold in the line to something that you need to move towards, such as uh, patience, faith, having staying power because you are working on something, some grand project, and you are st you holding firm to that, that's different. So use that fixed energy in the proper way that works for you. Now, if being fixed means I'm saying yes to the, all the things that are positive and I'm holding that line, like I said, that's good. But if you holding that yes Yes, I'm going to stand here. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. And it's looking like, hey, baby, this is something you digging your heels in and you need to just bend and let that go. Now, that's when you are on the fixed side of things where it's not working for you. So you decide. Y'all know what side of the coin y'all on. Think about it. All right. That's it for your spiritual. Let's move on into love. All right, y'all. I'm bringing back the Pop Love Oracle. If you have been watching any of the other Aquariuses, and most of y'all have not, because y'all, most of y'all just found me last week. Uh, the Pop Love Oracle, that's this right here. It's a fun card. I like it. We're going to go ahead and pull a few of these, and then we're going to get into the tarot, okay? Spirit guides, ancestors, great divine. What do you have for Aquarius and the person that is on their mind, their love interest? What's going on with Aquarius and this love interest? Now, my Aquarius love interests, was, they, was, they was going through it. Y'all was going through it about a week ago. <laughs> a lot of y'all have been going through it. Way more than I, I even imagined. But we're going to see if it's getting any better. Spirit is going to let me know what's going on with you and this person. Last one. got for Aquarius and love. Let's start off with five cards, please. Ooh, good thing that I almost fell in my candle. Ego driven. Somebody here is acting on their own self-interest. They're driven by the need to prove oneself better than others. Uh, does not truly love the person, but loves more of what that person gives. So somebody here loved more of what you could have did for them, or you love more of what they could do for you. You, They was living in their ego. My pride and my ego held me back and stopped me from being my true, authentic self. I'm afraid you'll reject me because I fear that I'm not good enough for you. My self-confidence was just a facade on top of one person only love what the other person gave. They didn't really love the person they was with. That's a problem in itself. Attached. Somebody, somebody's attached to a karmic partner due to responsibilities. Y'all got to forgive me. I get so irritated with third parties. It just makes me roll my ass every single time because I'm tired of hearing about it. Okay, so anyway, somebody's attached to a karmic party due to responsibilities. They want to face their issues head on and work through things before they return back to you. Now, some of y'all did not want this person to return to you whatsoever. I remember. I know it's not easy, but they're trying their best. It's how they feel. They're afraid of the unknown. They have karmic ties and responsibilities. They're in a committed relationship with someone else Aquarius this person might not come towards you anytime soon but they might pop up between November 7th and December 21st in the fall they're gonna come back that's about late fall they're gonna return to you November 7th through no December 21st sometime between Thanksgiving and Christmas right before Thanksgiving or right before Christmas they gonna somebody gonna say something somebody says third party situation a lot of y'all had that. Sorry, babies. But uh, that's what it says. Third party. I made you feel inadequate because I chose someone over you. I'm so sorry, babies. I regret the pain I have caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs. You didn't deserve being treated as an option. I'm I'm sorry, y'all. Main character on the other... The, somebody had was treating someone as though they were a main character or side piece. Another person has gotten the way of the relationship. One of y'all are feeling betrayed and second-guessing their self-worth. 
new beginning. Somebody wants to have a new start with an open mind, knowing where you lacked in the past, using it to create success. So somebody wants a new beginning with you, despite the third party. <sighs> I'm making that face because it was like, y'all was like, no, <laughs> hell no last week. Allowing yourself to accept changes that might bring good things to you. All right, let's see. Sentimentality. Somebody is having a hard time letting go. They're examining photos and they're thinking about their past. They have strong emotional feelings while thinking about the memories. This person says, the memories of us bring me joy, but agony at the same time. I think about you continuously. You are never far from my thoughts. Now, this person also feels like y'all need to let go of y'all issues and work through the struggles and by recognizing what went wrong and how y'all both played a part in it, Aquarius. They love you too much to let you go and they're ready to start new. I already know how y'all feel about it. At the bottom of the deck, I just happened to look down. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a, uh, a Pisces, somebody with water. It says, I had an idealistic view of what a relationship should look like. You challenged that perspective and I made, it made me question my whole value system. I didn't understand what you were trying to teach me, but I now know. Okay, so somebody didn't value y'all. Somebody wants to come towards you with a small offering. Okay, this is a short and temporary offering um, and in between feeling awakened and unawakened, but refusing to let go completely. They're stuck in a situation that they can't get out of and they can only give you something small because some of them are with third parties. So this person says, I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give you or when I can give it to you, but I do know. I want to offer you something more valuable than before. So if they weren't giving you much, they trying to come in and give you more. And it did say they loved what you did for them more than they loved you. So they want to now come in and give you a little bit of something to quiet that down. This person needs to do some inner child healing. They need to go in and explore their authentic feelings and part of themselves that have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much, or especially by their caregiver. They're waiting till the divine timing. And I see that. They're waiting for divine timing. And I told you, they're not coming towards you right now. But they are coming. Right before Thanksgiving and right before Christmas. Okay? Somewhere in between that window. They believe this union will happen when it needs to. The universe is placing people, things, and challenges and more into their life. And when they can handle them. And their belief that everything in life happens exactly at the right moment. I want to take action towards you. And I want to talk to you. Be with you and feel you. Please be patient, my love. I will come back to you in divine time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Aquarius. But the way y'all was so damn mad last week, y'all don't want to hear it. Somebody, though, is acquiring knowledge. Our connection was very intense and confusing, but I'm trying to understand our undeniable bond. You were brought to me to teach me things to help bring awareness to my own existence. They think that time has been ticking. Things are moving too fast or it's not, it wasn't moving at all. Time is difficult to calculate when the union, but they feel like it's never ending when they're apart from you. I'm trying to be patient. I want to return. I want to return to you. Like being apart from you feels like an eternity. Whoever this is, that y'all do not want. They want you. They want you though, Aquarius. Destiny. They feel like y'all was destined to meet. Y'all have a strong, unbreakable bond, passionate love, strong desire, deep inner knowing, and divine connection. Honey, they think they have all this with y'all, but they got a third party. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm understanding our relationship and our connection. What I once thought was trivial was something more or on a higher consciousness. I could not understand it then, but I do now. All right, Aquarius. That's what I got from y'all from the, from the Oracle. Let's get into the tarot, honey. This is what I really want to see after the way y'all was going off, honey. Let's see. Let's see what is going on. Spirit team, what is going on with Aquarius? Spirit guides, answers, for divine. What is going on with Aquarius and their person? What is going on with Aquarius and their person? What is it that they most need to know? Spirit team. Sun, Moon, Venus rising. From the tarot. I just want to give y'all a good shuffle. It's a 
last one. Okay, Spirit, what you got for Aquarius and a person? Let's start with five cards. Aquarius, babies, <laughs> okay, Aquarius, y'all crack me up, I'm, I ain't lying, y'all starting off with the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Chariot upright, the Devil reverse, the Ten of Cups reverse, and the Two of Swords upright, I'm gonna tell y'all why I'm laughing, I'm laughing because again, y'all like hell to the motherfucking dog. <laughs> Aquarius, y'all are not giving no love to whoever this person was that hurt you. I don't mean to laugh, honey, but honey, y'all have been going off. Aquarius said, absolutely not. I'm not pouring out an ounce, not an ounce of love to this. I am leaving. I am releasing you. You are not my wish fulfillment. And yes, we are still going to be at a stalemate because I'm standing on it. That's how y'all feel. Y'all is mad. Y'all still mad as hell. Y'all is mad as hell about these third parties, honey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh, but out the gate, y'all was still like, hell no, nah, Tasha. Tell him I said, hell no. Nah. If Crosswatcher was watching, it's a hell no. <laughs> hell no. I ain't giving them nothing. I ain't giving them not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Mm-mm. No, no. Go ahead and give me the other four. That is too fun. Oh, Lord, y'all gonna be mad because this person is gonna try to come back and get to you. Now, y'all ain't going to give to this person at all. But this person wants to come in and give to you, Aquarius. They want to come in and apologize. I told you they want to come in with a small offer and it's showing up in the tarot. This person wants to return to you with the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. They are headed right towards you with their little bitty offer. They want to give you something. They do. Okay. Now, they know that you have released them and they know that this is going to be a slow to get up off the ground. But this person, some of y'all was dealing with a Capricorn or an Earth placement because King of Pentacles is out here. This person wants to come towards you. Okay? This person wants to come towards you. The devil is here and the King of Pentacles is here. So it might, some of y'all was officially dealing with a Capricorn. You could have been dealing with a water sign. You got Earth. You got uh, water. You got uh, just a little bit of air. So some of y'all might have been dealing with another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, water, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. There is no fire out here just yet for those of y'all. I did pull Pisces earlier when I looked uh, at the bottom of the deck in the Oracle. So whoever this is, they know that you have released them and it is going to be slow. But somebody wants to give to you, honey. I ain't lying. They know you stubborn. It's going to be a little bit before it grows, but they coming towards you. This, listen. You're saying this is not your wish fulfillment. They're somewhere replaying this over and over and over and over again in their head. And again, with the uh, high priestess in reverse, they want to come talk to you. They want to talk to you. They don't want to hold these secrets. They want to, they've been replaying things in their head. They want to talk to you. They might release some of their secrets. They're not happy that you're at a stalemate with them. They want you to come in and they want to give, give you love and kindness, Aquarius. They got the six of cups. Somebody want, they know you're not happy with them, but they're ready to release and talk to you about what was really going on. I didn't mean to start. Y'all damn near brought tears to my eyes laughing at y'all because y'all still saying, hell no. Okay. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't trying to hear this shit. Y'all not trying to hear it. Y'all have the This Might Hurt card. Aquarius, this card right here is in the upright. This is good. You see the girl. You see the wolf. This is somebody who has found peace within. And now the external world has peace. If, but however you feel inside is how your outer world will look. Y'all have found peace. Y'all walked away by not giving love to the situation. 
y'all have found inner peace. And so your outside world is starting to reflect that you have peace. Now, with the Knight of Cups in reverse, you feel like you don't, this is not, this ain't it. This ain't your personal wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups in reverse. This person who wants to come towards you, they overindulge. And you ain't trying to hear nothing. You still leaving. Because in your mind, they overindulge in sex, alcohol, something. Drugs, gambling. They did something where they was overindulging. It could have been them third parties that we just seen in the last spread. So whoever this is, they overindulge. And therefore you, I'm going to cover them up. They naked. You don't want to, this is the uh, lovers in reverse. You don't want to partner with somebody who's overindulging with the king of wands energy in reverse. This is somebody who left you for the next best thing. This is somebody who was out here being Casanova with a lot of other people. They was out here whining and dying and trying to, you know, be with someone else. This is somebody who had uncontrolled passions. So you don't want, they were overindulging. You don't want to partner with nobody who was overindulging. You feel like this thing right here, it didn't make you happy. Ain't no point in digging it up, trying to bring it back up and get it up off the ground. And them coming in, you still don't want to hear it. You still don't want to hear it with the page of wands reversed. Oh, Lord. So Aquarius has still left the building. Yeah, you're at peace. It's like now you don't want nobody. You're not, you don't want to accept any offers from anybody who had multiple options. Whoever, yeah, if they coming towards you with a cup of love, it's like you're in reverse. I don't, I'm not, I'm not accepting no love offer from you and you got all these options. Y'all are putting, y'all are in y'all's own energy with the King of Swords. King of Swords is an Aquarius. Y'all are putting head over heart decisions. Y'all are thinking very logically and with y'all's intellect, y'all are not going forward. Nope. Ace of Wands in reverse. Y'all are going, listen. One, you don't want to sleep with this person at all because they're sleeping with other options. And two, y'all want to head in a whole new direction. Whole new direction. Ooh, them cards flew out. Yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all headed. Yeah. You don't want a partnership. You have no hope for this partnership whatsoever. With the star upright and the hair fine reverse, you, you have hope in doing your own thing and chasing your own bag some of y'all are going for the ten of pentacles it's like y'all focusing on your money y'all might thinking about legacy wealth or how can you grow your money for your family or what can you leave them y'all focusing on projects y'all are focusing on yourselves you're not thinking about this this partnership whatsoever y'all's hope is in you and what you can do for you yep you think it, you not y'all are not going towards any stress you let it go you let it go. You're not moving towards the nine of swords. This is stress. Y'all moving away from that. Y'all let go of stress. Y'all are worrying about the will of fortune being upright. What is turning in your favor? And letting go of what no longer serves you with that eight of pentacles. If it didn't work, and this person from your past that wants to come in and be nice from you, that stuff didn't work for you. You're not worrying about that. You're worrying about ten of pentacles. What can I do to, for my family? How can I do that? Yep, y'all ain't got no love for them. King of Cups reversed with the Five of Wands. No love for anything that kept you in chaos and conflict. Look, new start with the Two of Cups. You don't want a new start with nobody. Nope, you don't want a new start in love. With the Fool card next to the Two of Cups, you do not want a new start with anybody that kept you in chaos and conflict. Mm -mm. You're guarding yourself. Y'all are very protected against love right now. With the Queen of Cups next to the Seven of, of Wands, y'all are really protecting yourselves. Yep. Anybody who was uncontrolled and went after uh, third parties, and it was, it was somebody out here. Y'all let that stuff go. With the nine of wands, if they was out here following their passion, partying it up, doing all that, y'all have released it. Completion, ten of swords. Y'all not going towards it. Y'all let it go, honey. Y'all have let it burn. It has burned. It has burned. Cross watch up for Aquarius. Yes. It's still going to be a no. Y'all's asses to show up before Thanksgiving and Christmas. And Aquarius look like they still going to tell you, hell no. They do not want to be bothered with y'all. Whatever you did to hurt them. One guy even, I read y'all's comments. One guy said he, got him and his girl spent, they, they both end up going to jail. Spent the night in jail. I don't know what, he didn't go into the details, but I'm like, and he was saying he was done. Some a lot of y'all was done. Third parties, they multiple. Some of y'all was saying people put their hands on you, on top of cheating on you. It was just y'all have really been through it, baby. 
And I, and y'all so sweet. That's what I be thinking about Aquarius. A lot of, you know, not everybody likes Aquarius because y'all can be quirky, but I love it. But y'all get along. I'm a saggy. Y'all get along with us. Now, don't get me wrong. It's like two or three Aquariuses at my job. I do not get along with, but they're on the native end. They real, they real pop offish and they just, and then it's like, it's like we got a set of Aquarius that are so sweet and so kind. They always smile and they always try to be helpful. And then we got just like two Aquariuses out of all the other ones and they are hell on wheels, honey. And everybody, <laughs> everybody try to avoid them. Hell on wheels. When y'all are sweet, y'all are sweet, boy. We'll get on y'all's ugly side. Aquarius be like, I'm going to show you my cutoff game. We ain't called the king and queen of swords for nothing. Cutoff game is strong. On top of being intelligent, it did. It's like y'all put some thought behind y'all cutoff too. So it be, it be crazy. Crazy. Don't nobody out think y'all, honey. What you got for money for Aquarius spirit? Spirit is telling you all to embrace the wisdom of the unknown right now. Okay. Especially when it comes to money matters, you need to, um, control, try to be a little bit more flexible. Don't try to, this is why they tell you to embrace the unknown. Don't put spirit in a box Aquarius, especially those y'all. And they said that some of y'all are going towards like money making opportunities. So listen, don't go to spirit. And tell spirit when it comes to y'all getting this money, it has to be just like this, just like this, just like this. Don't, don't do that. Tell them what you want or how you're going to try to like, okay, I want such and such business, right? But be a little bit more flexible. Be like water. You see how that water is flowing down in this person's hand. You got to be flexible because when you do that, you're allowing the universe to work its magic. If you don't put spirit in a box, then they have infinite possibilities to, to give you this 10 of pentacles that a lot of y'all are working on. Okay. So don't lose out on opportunities because it didn't come in a form that you wanted it to be. Um, sometimes blessings can come in disguise. So stay open-minded to the potential. And this kind of goes back to that, uh, spiritual card y'all. So some of y'all are being too fixed and unwilling to make changes. And then others of y'all, you need to stay fixed because y'all moving just right. You know what I'm saying? You you know what side of the coin y'all on. Okay. And then y'all got new money. Woo! I told y'all. Y'all got a lot of new money. You've been working and it will be very profitable. You should consider creating a new source of income. And if you have money, a money making idea, you need to do it. Hey, um, Outlook is at the bottom of the day. I got something I'm going to tell y'all. Um, Improve your relationship with money to help grow your wealth. You might have conflicting values that impose negativity negatively on your values around money change up your behaviors develop better money habits and unreliable is in reverse y'all letting go of anybody who was unreliable it did say some of y'all was giving more to uh this person than they gave to you they was only with you for what you could give to them so y'all are letting go unreliable is in reverse y'all letting go of unreliable people um, yeah, people who are not falling through, people who are not falling through on their promises that don't pay y'all back on time, y'all let that go. If there's any type of confusion around or regarding money or these unreliable people, y'all let that go. Y'all so expect money. Um, where if you expected money from somebody and it didn't materialize, y'all let all that go. Now, what I was gonna tell y'all is Aquarius, especially for y'all new ones. There is one of y'all's readings in my playlist. A lot of y'all had cleared karma. A lot of y'all had new love and new money headed right your way. If you go back and look at some of my readings, especially like now the first reading, one of them, I was, I ain't gonna lie. I had, I was a little, I was a little off, but I did pick up that y'all was gonna have new love and money. So a lot of y'all had cleared karma. Y'all had a lot of good stuff coming to y'all. Um, for my Aquariuses that was on the right path. So check that out. Y'all might want to hear that. I think I had only one uh, reading where the Aquarius needed some work and it wasn't for everybody that was normally here. So check it out. That's all I have for you all. Um, readings go up every day on this channel. So if you need motivation, I probably have some. There's over 200 some readings that I have done. Check me out during the week. I do collectives. Um, that's really all I have for your Aquarius. For those of y'all who have let go and moved on, cool. For those of y'all who are being fixed and still holding on, let go. 
but it looked like most of y'all have let go anyway. So that's it. That's all I have for you on I Am The Light. Anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. Hit the like, share, and subscribe, and that notification bell. You will know when I upload. And again, Aquarius Babies, it has been a pleasure to read for y'all today. And on that note, bye, baby.